Hello everyone, welcome back to Pisces Games. It's Justin, your resident Pisces here, back with part five of Stardew Valley, right where we left off, day four. Uh, let's go ahead and get started and check the weather. Blah, blah, blah. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day, which means we gotta waste our time watering. Yay, love that. Let's check our luck. Oh, they're upset today. I think on day five, the, um, the, uh, mines get unlocked, I think, maybe. Okay, I'm not gonna make you guys sit through me watering these plants, so I'm just gonna fast forward this and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm all done watering. Um, it didn't take too long, so that's not too bad. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do is head over to Pierre's and get some more parsnip seeds. Let's see if we got anything over here. Absolutely nothing. Um, nothing forageable today, but that's okay. That is a-okay. Hopefully by the time we get to Pierre's, it'll actually be open. That would be a loverly, beautiful, majestic, and ethereal. I'll waste some time going down here. We'll check this trash can. We'll check Alex's trash can. And it's nine o'clock. We're good to go. Hello, Pierre. Thank you for opening on time. Get some more parsnips. I don't really want to waste a whole lot of time getting something else. How long do they take? 10 days? I mean, we have time, but they're so expensive. 12 days, six days. Okay, let's get some potatoes. We can only get two potatoes as opposed to seven parsnips. Nah, we're doing the parsnips. Sorry about it. <laughs> I just want to maximize our wealth as much as possible. Oh, let's say hey to Meru. Maru, I don't know how to pronounce her name. That's fine, whatever. Let's go. Let's go up here, see if there's any forge walls real quick. Oh, we need to go to the beach because it rained yesterday. And most of the times, once what is that little Oh, it's a daffodil! Um, usually after it rains, there's some good stuff on the beach. But since we don't have the um bridge unlocked, it might not be all that hot. But you know what? We're gonna check anyway. <laughs> Just to see. You know, we might get a little lucky. Oh no, Lewis, why'd you have to come out right as I did that? Yeah, they don't like for you to search in the trash, but like, y'all shouldn't throw away valuable stuff in the trash. Like, am I right? Oh, we do got some good stuff. We got a mussel. Got a clam. Ugh. Such a good idea to come down here. And I am probably going to sell this stuff to start with, just so we can have a little bit more money. Um, I know they're needed for the community center, but they're not hard to come by. So we're just going to go ahead and not worry about that right now. Let's go over here, go back to the farm. Is this Penny? That's Penny, right? We're very lucky to have a library in this such a small town. When you're lost in a book, it's easy to forget the realities of your life. Girl, preach it. Maybe that's why I like reading so much. Sorry, I got carried away. Is your life really bad, Penny? Alright, hopefully no one else pops out of their house and yells at us for going through their trash. It's a free world, okay? There might be some forageables over here. Oh, you know what we need to check? Ooh, there's a dandelion. We do need that. Um, ooh, there's another dandelion. Absolutely beautiful. There's usually some spring onions down here. I'm going to, if I can figure out how to move my character, get down here and see if they're there. Ooh, we got a bunch! 
Oh my god, this is such a great haul. For such a bad luck day, we sure do got some good luck. Our inventory is full. Dang it. I don't want to get rid of any of this stuff. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go back up to the chest. And we will come back for you. We will come back. I need the harvest. Is this Elliot? Oh, that's Leah. I thought Leah was Elliot. Ha! <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I don't know why I cut those down. No one my inventory full. Oh my gosh. I cannot. I'm glad we got these spring onions, though. They're, they don't really give you much gold, so we're probably not going to sell those. But they give you, like a tiny bit of energy so we're gonna keep those and i want to keep one dandelion just because sometimes those are hard to find but we're gonna sell the other one okay cool let's get this stuff in the container oh we can put the parsnip seeds down real quick I know I skipped through the watering, but since I don't have a whole lot to water, I'm just going to go ahead and set these down and water them real quick. It'll free up the inventory, it'll take like 2.5 seconds, and then we can go back and get the rest of those spring onions. Beautiful. I have never seen that many spring onions on such a bad luck day. Like, I don't know what the game decided uh, that we needed such a lucky break, but I will take it. I will absolutely take that luck. You know what, let's go ahead and get some of this stuff. I'm not gonna do the wood right now, but I just wanna get this fire. Okay, where's our little... God, I cannot get over how many spring onions are down here. Oh my goodness, it's freaking crazy. Yay, we're gonna get like a 12 or 15. This is a lot. Oh my gosh, that's so crazy. No, don't water. That is so crazy. Sometimes there's extra ones down here. Oh look, there's an extra one. Sometimes there's some down here. I just wanted to double check. That is absolutely insane. That we got so many. We even got silver quality ones. I wonder if those garner any more energy. Because if not, we might sell those. Take the extra money. Nothing down here. Okay, great. Ugh. That is so exciting. Eventually, I'll find my way out of here. <laughs> here we go. Is there any good stuff for Justin over here? No? That's fun. Oh, it's the hat place. I wonder when this blocks or opens up because as soon as they start selling hats, we'll be getting the pink hat that I'm absolutely... Oh, I can't get through there. That I'm absolutely obsessed with. Can't wait for that. It'll cover up my blue hair, but you know what? You make sacrifices for fashion, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> okay, let's get some of this fiber. Let's go ahead and knock down some of these trees. Gather some more resources here. This is going to fill up so fast. The wood and the sap. Yeah, we only got one slot left, so hopefully nothing else falls down, or we need to gather anything else. It would not let me straight on cut this tree for some reason. Oh my gosh, it took so long. We literally can't pick up anything else. What are you? You had to go all the way around to cut that. 
bird have when I sleep? Oh my god, there's a wild horseradish too. Oh, there's two! Oh my god. You know what? We're gonna get rid of this pine cone. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I don't need this pine cone. Hopefully, these aren't different quality horseradishes, and I can just pick up the second one. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, that was great. Oh, I guess we can go ahead and meet the wizard? Can we? If we can, we'll go ahead and do that real quick. Oh, it's locked. Okay, so I don't think that that cutscene has triggered just yet. Just like the community center uh, cutscene hasn't triggered yet, because I'm pretty sure that it has to trigger. Ooh, there's a dandelion. I can't pick it up, can I? No! Okay. You know what? We really don't need this sap. That's money right there, so I'm taking it. Okay. We should probably head back to the farm. We'll probably use um, what little energy we have left to clear some more trees off the farm. It'd probably take, like, one tree, to be honest. But that's fine. Let's empty this stuff first, though. If I can make my way through this crazy terrain. Oh, it's starting to get dark. Okay. What do I need to put in here? I'm going to put in one horseradish. Okay, uh, keep the wood. These spring onions, I don't know if they garner any different... You know, we're going to try it. We're going to sell those. We're going to keep these other ones. We're going to sell those, see if we get anything for them. Um, yeah, okay. Alright, put the, all that stuff in. All right, let's waste a little bit of this energy. Clear some of this stuff out. How about this tree right here? Well, cut it down, thank you. <laughs> it did not want to do it at first. Okay, awesome. So, we don't have enough for, a, do we have enough for a whole nother tree? Let's try it. It might take pity on us and let us cut down the whole tree and the stump. Oh, how nice! Got a maple seed. We can't quite get over there. <laughs> Can we figure it out? Great. Waste a little bit more energy. Yeah, we're done. We can get some of this grass out of the way, though. Clear this. God, we really need more wood. Like, desperately. Okay, I'm going to keep some of this grass. Alright, let's turn in for the night. Actually, you know what? I'm going to throw away this, these seeds and this sap. I'm going to keep everything else, though. Alright, cool. We're up to 231 wood, so we're almost at 300, which is what how much we need for that bridge. So that's really good. You know what? I think I'm going to eat some of these spring onions and get a little bit more energy. We're going to try it. Yeah, see, as you can see, you don't get a whole lot of energy from the spring onions, but, you know, it works. It's better than nothing, and it's better than spending $600 on pizza, which gives you a lot of energy, but we don't have 600 gold right now. Uh, no, let's put the rest in here. We have to get into bed by, uh, two, but that sh we should have no problem with that. Let's... Use the rest of our energy to get some of this wood. And maybe we'll have enough wood before we go to sleep for the night to do the bridge tomorrow. That would be absolutely awesome. Alright, did we get everything? Okay, I think we got enough for one more tree. Let's go for this one. Don't think we're going to have quite enough for the bridge. But if we cut down some wood tomorrow, we should have enough. And that would just be 
absolutely beautiful. Yeah, now I'm starting to feel exhausted. Can I get this last piece of wood? Cool. Alright, how much does that give us? 269. Okay, we're we're getting there. We got some more coal. Alright, I think we're gonna have to turn in and see how much gold we got. Hopefully we got some good gold from all our forageables for the day. I can still not get over how many spring onions we got. Ooh, we got level two foraging, plus one axe proficiency, and new cooking recipe, survival burger. Ooh, we got level one mining, plus one pickaxe proficiency, and a new crafting recipe, cherry bomb. Love that. Come on, give me some gold. Okay, okay. That's not bad. 30 for the daffodil. The clam gave us 50. That was good. Okay, so those spring onions were 10 gold apiece. Wow. But the dandelions were 40. And the sap gave us a little bit too. That's cool. The mussel gave us 30. Two acorns gave us 40. Maple seed gave us basically nothing. Wow. <laughs> okay, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're still enjoying this series of Stardew Valley. If you are, please leave a like on the video, and I will see you all in part six. Looking forward to it. This is still so much fun. I absolutely love doing this. Like I said, um, it's very therapeutic for me to do this Let's Play series and this gaming channel. And it's just, uh, it's just so warm and lovely. And I absolutely love it. So thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.